Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning having my coffee, and y'all know what? It is trying to rain. It's not pouring rain, but it's misting. It's little tiny little drops falling, and I went and put my umbrella up because I wanted to get started on this project without getting wet, but I hope I, I, I hope I don't, well, if it starts harder, I'll have to stop, but, uh, it's not pouring rain, but it's misting. It's like little tiny drops, and it will wet you if you sit out here long enough, so I went around there and got my umbrella, and put my umbrella up. It's a little dark looking, but maybe it'll stop and clear up. I can, I can see a little breaking in the clouds but it's still cloudy and you can see that it's uh, kind of dark looking back that way but anyway I wanted to get started on this project let me get up a little closer I wanted to get started on this project and when it stops you know I can go ahead and finish it up but let me have a sip of coffee I've been running around here this morning trying to get all this set up and trying to figure out how to not get wet and how to do a project. Sometimes <laughs> sometime you, you have to try to figure things out when, when, when it's trying to rain and you want to do something. I haven't got out here and done a project in a few days. I, I had a a fan mail opening but I haven't done a project so I'm going to do a a project this today uh start on it I got to probably let it dry and all that stuff and paint it and do what I'm going to do to it but thank y'all so much for being my YouTube family and my subscribers and viewers and all that you are, I am so blessed because I never dreamed I could have a YouTube channel and have one that has 61,000 subscribers in like two years. I started a little, a little more than two years, not much, but, and I've never uh, done any projects in my life. I've never, uh, been in crafts and stuff I, I I've never never even done any of that I just I was going through a little bit of difficult times and the Lord says he'll never leave you nor forsake you and I believe that I, I trust him and I know that he will he is there even though we may not know it or we may not feel it you just don't know what he's doing that you don't even know about. So, I believe he gave me this gift to, of making things and that I didn't know I had. I don't even know that I had it, but the Lord put it in me that I could do this and I've been trying to do it and people seem to like my videos and what I do. I make pots and I make uh, uh, stained glass and sea glass and uh, cement projects and paintings and I've, I've just started dabbling in a, <laughs> a whole lot of different stuff and it's so much fun. And, and you're not too old, even though you're 80 years old when you start, or almost 80. You can still do things. Look, I am a living example. I I don't know how it happened, only the Lord has let it, has instilled it in me to do this. And I'm so thankful and blessed, and don't y'all give up. Anyone that is struggling or going through things in their life that's Seems like uh, things uh, never be bright again. It can be. You just keep your faith and you trust in the Lord. 
he can he can put you places you never never ever dreamed you could be. Look where look where I am. I am blessed, and I, I, my grandson is here with me, and I enjoy his company being here with me, helping me, cause uh, I'm not the greatest. I can do my projects. I can mix up my semen, and I can edit my videos, and I uh, do all that by myself. I, I video it with my camera, and I carry it in. He doesn't do any of that. He doesn't. No one helps me. I, I do it all myself. And I'm not bragging. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all that it's a lot to do when you're when you're my age and you're trying to learn new things in your brain. My brain I think is about filled up with eighty years of stuff up there that I <laughs> can't get around to everything that I I need to do. But I'm trying and and please forgive me for if I don't answer your comments or if I, if I I can't find them sometimes I lose something I see it then I go back and look for it I can't find it so please <laughs> don't uh think I don't care and I'm not thankful but I am well anyway I today I am going to uh, start this little project. It's going. I've not done this before. I've done something similar to this, but not like this. But I'm going to mix up some Portland cement, and I'm going to make some little mushrooms for the yard decoration. I've made mushrooms all kind of different ways, but this is a different way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, uh, this is going to be a different way. I'm not going to really tell you because I might change my mind. You can't never tell about me. I, sometimes I start out doing something and then I wind up doing something else. It's just according to whatever uh, I think about doing and how I'm going to do it. it. I may change my mind. So. Just keep watching and see what I do, because I don't even know myself. I can't even tell you. But let me have, are y'all having coffee this morning with me? Some say they're having coffee when I have my coffee. That is so sweet and so thoughtful. And all the fan mail gifts I have received, so thankful for you, uh, thinking about me. And I want to say a hello. <laughs> to someone very sweet and kind to people. Uh, Margaret and Lenny. How y'all doing? I love y'all. Thank you so much for what you do. Uh, y'all enjoy y'all's day and be blessed. Anyway, uh, y'all Y'all, I don't. I may have to get under the carport to do my uh, cement stuff, but whatever it takes, I'll do it. So let me get through with this. My y'all see my birds? My birds are back there eating. They won't come up here, but if I go in the house, they will come up here. I'm going. Zoom up and, and go in the house a minute. Let y'all see them. Oh, y'all see my table? It is just right. It is the right size for me to sit and talk to y'all and tell y'all all this stuff. My other table, like his work table, it's big enough for me to do my projects and set everything around have plenty of room so thankful for all my uh fan mail uh gifts that i receive i am so thankful thank you thank you thank you okay let me let me zoom up on my camera my birds may come over here and get on get in my coffee i don't know My, 
uh, Japanese magnolias are blooming and my uh, little bush over here is blooming. Putting my gloves on y'all. <laughs> I got a little place on my hand where I almost fell the other day and I caught myself somehow. I don't even know how I done it, but it's got a little place on my hand that uh I don't want to get semen in it. Okay, I'm I'm mixing it up in this little pan now that's uh I have three cups of Portland cement and six cups of Georgia sand okay, you mix up your cement and a sand mix And this mix is kind of going to be uh, thick. I don't want it real thin. Uh, going to be thick. Lord, y'all, I ain't even got my water. Okay. A little at the time. Don't want to pour too much at one time you can add a little always but don't pour too much because you can't take it out a little tiny bit more A little tiny bit goes a long way. I mean, you don't, you can put too much very, very easy. Okay. Got it mixed up. The way I want it. Okay, this is an old, old bowl. I don't even know. I found it somewhere. And it has a rounded inside like it doesn't uh, show a mark where the, it's kind of oval down here. Cut 
put in this bag and I have to put down here. This is going to be a mushroom. <laughs> this is an old, uh, like, sock. It's thin, like, you know. I'm going to... I'm going to put this down here. Oh my goodness, it's raining again. To let the umbrella back out. Okay, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna put this this is a a little cup thing. Let me see where y'all are. I cut the bottom out and I'm gonna put it in here and try to everything you try to do. Is not that easy. Just have to be patient, okay? I got it in here. I'm gonna put the cement on it. In it. This is my little funnel that I'm that I made. <laughs> okay, I think that's plenty. Put it in here and shake it around and you get it and you tie a knot in it. I hope I'm not in the way. Okay. Now Cut this I loose. And you tie a knot in this. This is not that easy with rubber gloves. This is the old that I put. This is the old bottle that I put in the cement in it, and that's what I'm using for the middle. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in there now. And let this dry. Y'all see them? Them little raindrops. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna put this cement and this little thing. Tie this up with a string. Let me get the string. <sighs> get 
the weather has not been <laughs> very kind to a lot of us. I, I know a lot of people's has a lot has had so much water. I've seen it and it's just everywhere. The schools were closed. I have a viewer told me that they were just so much water and the schools were closed and so but you have you you uh you do what you're what you can do when you can. <laughs> so it's not pouring rain, but it would wet you if you got out in it and stood there a while. Let me tie this again because I gotta have a long string on it. I'm trying to keep my arm out of the way, but sometimes I forget what I'm doing. And you know how that is when you get old. <laughs> All right, now let me see. I'm going. Let me wipe my hands off a little bit. Okay, y'all, y'all know me. I, I have to rig up stuff to make stuff work. Okay, there's the top of my umbrella. I'm going, I'm going to put this right here and hook it to my umbrella. <laughs> y'all can see I got to get something to stand on because I can't reach up there and tie it. I'll be right back. Thank y'all for being patient with me. I don't. I didn't really think about all this. What I was gonna do. Anyway, I mean, I knew I was gonna do something like this, but I didn't really know exactly what. Here. I'm going to try to watch, watch my camera so it doesn't cut off. I'm going to cut this bag. 
can line this little bowl. Now this is not hard. It's just a little aggravating when you're out here in the rain trying to do something. I'll use this little thing right here to put in the middle as a I don't even know what it is it looks like a little uh, one of these lights off a of... my little night lights that I have I, it looks like one of those and that's all you do there uh, now I've got to make another one of those to go in the middle. Okay. This is it's a little stocking thing. It's thin like stockings but it's not a stocking it's a sock i got it at one of those stores that's cheap things in it <laughs> okay let me put cement in it be nice if the rain would stop which is not pouring and I'm so thankful that it's not I'm thankful that it's just a little bit not and I can get up under this umbrella and stay dry unless it starts pouring and then that's all I gotta quit or get under the carport and there's no room under there it's just got all my stuff under there and hardly no room for anything you tie this where it won't come loose this is just some string just some kind of heavy duty string that I bought but going to tie it up there too. <laughs> Let me see how much I need. And I have to tie it over there. I don't know. If... Okay, I got another one now to hang up here. And Oh, 
Okay. I got it up there. Now, I got it. There it is down here. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go change my battery. I'll be right back. Guess what? It's raining harder. I'm gonna try to get, get some of it done. Because my cement won't uh, will get hard if I leave it, so I got to try to finish it. I'm going to get over here under the umbrella and see if I can finish up. I've got everything but these little uh, things here. didn't know it was going to rain like this. Uh, it was, it was just misting this morning. Not really raining a whole lot. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to get around here and tie this one up. I might have to zoom out. Oh, out. neighbors will think about all this stuff here but I don't really doesn't really matter you got to do what you got to do when you want to do a project you have to figure out a way I need to tie that up a little more I'm going to make one more. Okay, I think I'm gone. <laughs> I think I've, I've got uh, my bowls and my little uh, pedestals made, so I'm going to stop and get out of the rain, and hopefully they'll dry. I may have to move them to the carport if it rains a lot, but thank y'all so much <laughs> for watching this video and putting up with all this mess I do out. I, I'm not prepared as I need to be. I don't. I thought it wasn't gonna rain like it's doing now, but it's not pouring 
but it's raining. You could, you'll get wet if you stay in it. So, thank y'all so much for watching this. And have a blessed, blessed day. And be kind to each other. It will make the world a lot better place. And we'll see y'all when I come back and I take this uh, little mushroom things out of the mold that I got them in. I'll show y'all what I'm going to do to them next. Hello, I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here going to open up these mushrooms that I made the other day. Get started on them, and I've got to, uh, you know, I hung them up in the, my umbrella, my big umbrella. <laughs> I hung them up in there. Now I've got to get them down and bring them over here to my table. I was going, are you, is anyone having coffee? It's not early morning, but it's still coffee time to me. So I'm going to have a little sip of coffee, and then I'm going to get up there and cut them things down from my umbrella so I can get started taking, uh, take them, taking them down and putting them together and seeing what I'm going to do with them. And y'all know, it looks like rain. We ought to have plenty of water. And we do, I think. We have plenty of water. Just, you know, whatever the Lord gives us, we'll take it. That's that's what I say. We can't do anything about it anyway. <laughs> he knows best, so let me get up. Let me turn my camera around here and get my, uh, let me get my stool I got to get up on to get them on. Be right back. Okay, there's my umbrella. There's my stuff on the table. I think I felt a drop of rain. Let me get this stuff untied. And I may have to... Okay. Okay, I got them down. I'm going to take them over here. Y'all, any time now, I'm probably going to have to stop. This one out. This is the one that I had this uh, thing right here in. Let me take it out and I'm going to set it right down here. I hope it doesn't start raining. Okay. okay. There's that one. I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get cement dust in my coffee. I think I'll sit it. the rain let me move my umbrella back over here Dust. This dust off of this cement. I didn't think it was gonna rain, did you? No, it rains up here, but that <laughs> it's just starting. 
It looks like. I'm gonna have. Another one. Are y'all seeing? <laughs> There's the little cup I put in there. I didn't put a stocking around this one. Here's the other one. Now let me get this a loose and see how this looks. Cut the top off. There's one. And there's another one. If it if it don't let me finish it uh, out here, I, I'll finish them inside. I, I'll take them in there and uh, cut. I'm going to paint them, and I'm going to decorate the top, and and that, that'll be all I'm going to do to it. There's another one. On there like that <laughs> I think that's gonna be cute can you see <clears throat> let me have a sip of coffee okay I'm going, I'm going to uh, put it up now because, let me see if I can let y'all see the sky, how dark it is. It is really dark, and I know it's, the rain is coming, so I'm going to put away my things right now and uh, take them in the house. Hello. I guess y'all don't have to guess where I am. It is bad weather outside. It is tornado warnings, raining, and all of it. <laughs> and me trying to do a video. But 
That's okay. I got a dry and a warm place right here to do it. I may start one place and wind up somewhere else. Whatever it takes, I'm, I'm going to do it because I'm going to do a project somehow <laughs> unless the current goes out now. If that goes out, I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything that I could do to cope with that. But, okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, everything's happening. Okay, this is my mushrooms that I'm going to start on. I'm going to put them right down here. I brought them in so I could start painting them. And let y'all see, I'm going to put them up on top of that. It's not very, uh, it's not a very big job, but here's to y'all having coffee. Are y'all having coffee? I'm loving it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start this project. I'm going to start painting. Got me a tray right here that I'm going to put my paint in. I'm going to start off with uh, burnt umber brown. It's kind of thin paint. And I'm going to have some uh, real yellow uh, it's apple barrel paint. Put some in here. Not a whole lot. And I'm going to add white with it. So. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me get stuff out of the way. Like usual, I'm not organized the way I should be. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the weather has turned off. It is unpredictable. You never know what it's going to do. It's just like it may be warm, and then it may be uh, turn off warmer, or it may turn off colder. It's just something that you can't predict. It. I need my one of my little turntables, but where is it <laughs> when I need it? base coat on it and let it dry and then I'm going to paint on the other one, other two. This is a uh, pumpkin orange apple barrel. set this over here and let it dry a little bit and work on this other one. Oh, here it is. 
it. Okay. This is the next one. This is just a base coat that I'm covering it with right now. I love mushrooms. <laughs> I mean, I love I love to eat them and I love to look at them. They're beautiful. They're all kinds. All right. I'm going to set this over here and let it dry. other one. Okay, I'm going to set this one over here to dry. My camera cut off as usual. I'm just trying to put a little bit of paint on these mushrooms. It's not going to matter that much about the what I'm putting on here. I'm just putting some paint on it. not I don't guess it's necessary I don't know but I want to I, I feel like it needs it won't it be nice when spring gets here and everything starts well everything's already started blooming and uh the birds are out and uh, it's going to be spring and maybe we'll have a beautiful spring. I have seen it snow in the spring. In March, I've seen it snow. When I, when I built my house out here, I came out and bought the land and there was snow on the ground. It had just come a big snow. So it can it can snow in March in Georgia. I don't know if it's I can't remember it snowing in April, but it may have. I don't I don't know. Uh it could have. Anything just about is possible now. You just, the weather is so unpredictable. It's, uh, this afternoon, I'd never thought that it was going to rain. Uh, but it did. And tornado warnings were out. And there were some, uh, tornadoes hit around here, but not, not right by close by my house, but uh, in some areas, I haven't really heard all of it that where it has hit and all, but it, it was definitely some hit around here. And we've had our share of those too, uh, hurricanes <laughs> and tornadoes and 
all of it. Okay, I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this dry now. I've, I've, I've got the paint on it and I guess it's not really necessary for it to be on here, but because I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover it with some. Oh, uh, I'm, I haven't quite decided yet. I'm still thinking it over. Or is they pain in my coffee? I don't guess it'll kill me, will it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to let this dry. And come back later and see what we're going to do to it next. I'm just going to keep y'all guessing. What about, <laughs> what about that? Y'all don't, y'all may not like that. I don't even know myself exactly. I've got to figure it out between now and then. So, y'all will see it when I get it figured out. So, I'm going to let this dry. I may put my hair dryer on it a little bit so it can dry, but acrylics uh, doesn't, it dries pretty fast. So you, you don't have to wait a long, long time to uh, just, you know, see how it's going to look because it does, it is, it dries uh, pretty fast so I'm gonna say see y'all in a little bit when I when I when this dries I'll, I'll come back and in the meantime I'm having coffee <laughs> and it's so good y'all need to try it or something because painting and drinking coffee and talking to my YouTube family and friends and subscribers and all all that y'all are to me. Uh, it is like just sitting down with friends talking. That's that's how I feel, and I hope y'all feel the same way. Okay, I'm I'm through talking now, so y'all can uh, just wait till I get the next little part of it going and then I'll be back. See you in a little bit. Bye bye. Okay. I'm back out here. I'm, my uh, mushrooms are dry. So let's see. I think I'm going to oh, which one am I going to do first? I think I'll do this one first. Okay. I've got some all colored beads. Uh, little, they're not beads. I don't know what you call these things. All these all color little beads and things uh, that I have. That's what I'm going to put on top of one of my mushrooms. I've decided to do that. One. Uh, let me move it so I can see. Where's my 
glue. There it is. Okay. <laughs> this has been a moving around project. I'm telling you, it's, it's like move from one place to another place to another place. Uh, trying to get this project started and finished. This is what I'm using. E6000. I may have it upside down. I don't know. This is the glue I'm putting on here. I'm just going to stick them up here. I'm going to have to get some tape and stick it because it's wanting to slide off. Didn't know this was going to happen. But I think 
think I know what to do about it. I'm having to put some tape on it to keep it up there because it's sliding off. But that's okay. I can take that off uh, easy. Y'all, everything you try is not going to work out perfect. You have to try to make a way to make it work. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my camera's not bright. And this is one of them times that <laughs> things uh, seem to be a little challenging. get this all these things stuck then I can take this tape off as soon as it gets dry enough because this this glue is like uh, it's not very strong enough to hold these beads from sliding down. They're not beads. Uh, I don't know what you call these things. They look like candy. <laughs> Just checking to see if my camera was still going. I've got some of these uh, little jewel things. I may put some of those on here. 
it's, it won't be quite as heavy. Because this, this stuff here is kind of heavy and... This works. I know this will work a lot better because this stuff is not heavy. It's sort of light. It's some Just jewel things like little stones, but they're not real. They're just sparkly looking things. Oh, I'm going I'm gonna put a red one on here. I know this won't slide off because it's not heavy. I really didn't think that other would do that because, I mean, I just didn't think that uh, stuff would slide off as bad as it did. Um, but it did. I'm gonna make it work somehow. <laughs> I think I've got it fixed now where it's uh kind of holding and it's not trying to slide off. This is just a yard decoration for uh, the yard. Maybe give the little bird something to look at. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember about that, uh, that 
that stained glass does the same thing. When you put it straight up like, and this glue is not real stiff. It dries stiff, but it, it's not stiff when you put it on there. And it will let your things slide some if they're heavy. A little heavy, they, they'll slide. hope the bad weather is maybe going away. I think there was a lot of uh, bad weather in different areas uh, this evening. Six thousand is getting kind of gone. <laughs> Whew. Yo, the camera keeps cutting off. This is very time consuming. Very. You ought to leave that in there. Do you know what time it is? No. It's like 12.30. It is. Yeah, it's 12.30. You need to go and go to bed. Well, you go to bed, boy. Look at my. Yeah, I see it. I'm about to make me some chili cheese dogs. Huh? So I'm about to make me some chili cheese dogs. Come in, look at it. I see it. You don't see it close? Yeah, I do too. No, you don't see what it's doing in there. Grandma, I can see it glistening. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. What you mean? Like that's how that's supposed to work? It's like a, it's a synthetic gemstone that's supposed to project light in different angles, and that's what it's doing. Ain't that pretty? Let me show you how it looks. Need to be. How it's going to look. See? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, I was wondering how you was figuring that that pear or that uh long looking thing was supposed to be a mushroom. I'm like, it's crazy in hell. <laughs> Ain't it pretty? Yeah. This, the little things right here was heavy. Mhm. Mm and they kept sliding down. I got to work on that. That is so pretty. Take me another. Let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, you thought that long thing was a mushroom. Guess I'll stop. Cody's done come in here and got on to me. I'll be back. Don't go away. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I'm back out here doing this project again, trying to. I'm having my coffee and I'm trying to decide some things about these, these mushrooms that I've made. Uh, it's been kind of a difficult little, pro little project. Uh, all of it, but this part, this was, uh, this one 
this one was had heavy little uh why well, I don't know what you call these things. Little beads I'll call them. Uh they're heavy and the glue was like making it slide off so I had to put some tape on it like the part up here that was already kind of getting firm I put some tape on it down here to hold it from sliding down because it's it's slanted but I'm going to save y'all the <laughs> uh, agony of watching me get all this tape off but that's the only way that I could get the beads to stay up there was to put, let me get my scissors, I need some scissors to cut this tape, it's kind of strong. And last night, I was in here working, I didn't really realize how late it was. Uh, on this project and Cody my grandson got up he gets up all hours of the night checks around or eats him something or whatever he does all kind of mess anyway he he came in and he opened that door over there and it scared me because I didn't know he was up But uh, he told me it was late and that I need to go to bed. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was 12 o'clock at night or 12.30 or whatever time it was. But when you get to doing something and you're into it, time just goes away. Let me move my camera just a little. I don't like it the way it's sitting all that much. Okay, that, I think that's better. So, I'm out here trying to decide how I'm going to do. I have three. I have this one. And that one, and another one that I haven't started. Well, I haven't, I've started it, but I haven't started putting the beads, the stones on it, what I'm going to put. And I haven't even decided what I'm going to put on it yet. So this is just a trial and error <laughs> thing. When you really... That's how I do, I think. Uh, I just, I start doing something, whatever I feel like, I don't know, I just, I just go by how I feel and what I want to do and trying to make something work when it doesn't want to. <laughs> it's not that easy to do when you're You don't even, I mean, I've never seen one like this. So I can't go buy another one because I've not seen anybody put, well, they may have. I, I just, I am going to say, I haven't seen it because there's so many things on, uh, on YouTube that you want to look for. You can almost find it. It's just like never ending things. Are y'all having coffee this morning? I'm having coffee and doing my little projects and trying to get finished with it because it's taking a long, a longer time than I uh, anticipated. <laughs>
But that's the story of my life. Uh, things don't go always smooth and the way you want it to. But you just try to make the best of it. I mean, I think I about got all that stuff off of there. I thought it was going to be worse than that. I thought it was going to take longer to do this than it did. Because, no, is that not beautiful? Looks like a, that is so pretty. Let me get up and come over there if I can without falling down and breaking something. Look at that, y'all. Is that not the, is that not beautiful? Oh, it's, it is awesome. Oh, and let me show you this one. This is the one I was working on last night when Cody came in and scared me. It is sparkling and all kind of things. I didn't know it was going to do that. That is awesome. Okay, now let me move this. See if I can start another one that I have. And it's not big, it's, it's a small one. It's just, this is what it looks like. I think I'm going, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm, oh, let me see. Y'all, I'm trying to get a video. It's been a while and I I, I, I can't help it. it. It's just things have not worked out. The weather has been awful. It's been raining. It's been tornadoes. And by anything you can think of, we've had some of it. But it didn't, uh, anything real bad happen right here in, in my little place where I am. But, and I haven't watched the news much to see, uh, how, how bad things really got. I've watched it a little bit. I think I'm going to put these uh, little round ones on here. These little beads, you can't see them, but they're just little round uh, stone looking things. But I bought them and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on here. Six thousand is kind of getting gone. I don't think I'll have any problem with this uh, sliding down because these things are light; they're not heavy, and they'll stick like where you put them, and they're not heavy enough to. And it's not like shaped like it would slide off easy. So I'm going to put, 
put this on here now and get through with this project so I can let y'all see it. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's what I think. <laughs> but I always think that. Y'all, I, I keep saying the weather is so unpredictable. You never know what it's going to do next. It could be sun shining, and in 30 minutes, it could be pouring rain. I have already experienced that. <laughs> Doing these mushrooms, I've had to move I don't know how many times and try to get out of the rain and get everything going like it's supposed to, like I think it's supposed to, but that don't always happen, but it's okay. It'll work out. They'll be pretty and they'll look beautiful in the yard. I think they're just absolutely beautiful. They turned out so good. don't run out. I think I'll have enough to do this because this is not that big and it's so uh, are so pretty. I think they're going to be just absolutely beautiful in the yard. I'm going to have a find a place for them. I, got, I, got, I need to buy me some more of this glue because I'm, I'm, I'm gluing a bunch of stuff. got on the computer this morning trying to my camera just cut off again uh, I got on there this morning trying to find something about my camera why it cuts off so much and I haven't found anything yet that tells me why it's doing that the batteries are charged and I thought it was the settings, but I, I can't find anything that is telling me what is happening. But I guess I'll just have to keep cutting it on and off all I know. You can't find out, and, and it shouldn't be doing that that much, I don't think. I don't think it should be doing it. But sometimes things do things that you don't think they ought to be doing. No, 
Oh, I got to get some more glue because this is just not coming out that great. You know, <laughs> you never ever really know what a project's going to consist of when you've not done it before. You have to sort of uh, maybe try one and then you'll know. But sometimes I don't wait to do that. I, I want to go ahead and see how it works. Just trying it and seeing what happens. These are so pretty. I am so thrilled that they are doing, they look this pretty. That makes me so happy when it, when it turns out to be a little more than you uh, really thought it would and it, uh, it just it's it's a, re a really fun when you're when you do something it turns out better than you thought it would i mean i i thought it would look pretty good but i didn't realize that it was going to be this pretty And these little sparkly things, when you put glue behind them, they like glitter. They like, uh, just have the, like diamonds in them or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know how that happens. And y'all don't have to be strong and you don't have to be uh, talented or anything to do this. You just, you just do something. <laughs> Hope it works out. Don't let your glue run out. But I'm going to make this work because I'm going to get enough out of here to get this project finished if it's possible. But you see this <laughs> almost like not much in here. I'll say that. some more out oh here's some gracious it's just what I need oh gonna believe this I've got through with this project and I've got my little uh things painted my little uh stems or whatever you call the bottom of a mushroom. <laughs> I'm going to set them down here. And I got, I had enough glue to finish this one. So let me show, show it to you up close. Is that not beautiful too? It is so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put my mushrooms together. I'm gonna put me a table a little tablecloth on here. So so it'll look better. Cause I want to take a picture with it. I want my mushrooms 
to set down here. Let me set back down. Pour a ball down. Okay, this is my Is this one okay there it is and this is my wait a minute I hadn't even put my other one up here yet These are not the most beautiful mushrooms y'all have ever seen. <laughs> they are so pretty. Oh, let me get this one now. Oh, how awesome. I just don't even know how they could be this beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of them. I'm going to zoom up and let you see. A little close-up of them. How awesome is that? Okay, I'm going to zoom back out now. to thank y'all for watching this video if you watch it I hope you do <laughs> I hope you make one because it's so pretty it is just beautiful I didn't know it was going to look this good <laughs> I really didn't I want to thank y'all so so much for watching this video if you watch it <laughs> but I hope you watch it, and I hope you make one, because is that not awesome? It's beautiful. For a, gar a garden decoration, the little mushrooms I made, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful to me, and I'm proud of myself, <laughs> because I really didn't know it was going to turn out this pretty. I was hoping it was going to look good, but I didn't think it was would be this beautiful. But it is to me. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching all my videos and my subscribers and people who share my videos. I'm so blessed. Thank y'all so, so much. I, I, I'm just beyond words to everyone that uh, has subscribed to my channel and and tell me they like my channel. That is so awesome because <laughs> I never thought I could do anything like this. And look, people can do things they didn't know they could do. I didn't know. I mean, I know y'all get tired of hearing all that stuff. But anyway, thank y'all for, for the viewers and subscribers that uh, share my videos and uh like them thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart i i really appreciate it and wait where is my coffee y'all i'm about to forget my coffee it's down here out of the way <laughs> i about forgot about it let me have a sip of coffee because this is gonna be the end of my video i'm gonna get it edited and put on youtube for everyone to see and i hope Everyone likes it <laughs> as much as I do. I love it. Oh, let me have a sip of coffee. 
used to all all the coffee drinkers and whatever you like to drink. This is to y'all. Thank y'all so much. I have been so blessed and thankful. I want to thank y'all again for being so such a blessing to me and that uh y'all like my videos y'all uh have a blessed blessed day and be kind to each other and be a blessing to someone bless someone each day and you'll feel better and they'll feel better and what a wonderful world this would be if everybody would do that i'll see y'all in the next video Bye bye. Hope it ain't too awful long. I hope the weather cooperates a little better than this one did, but still turned out great. So, see y'all in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>